beings of light, the cycles of life. Life goes around and around in a continuous spiral of events that determines what lies ahead in the unfolding expression of consciousness. Are things getting better? It is relative. It is no better or worse than it has ever been. The only thing that determines the condition of life is balance, its redeeming quality. Cycles are balanced, yet as they happen, they fluctuate from graceful, serene energy to that which is adjusting to the changes that are transpiring. When there is resistance, it must be met with change. When there is balance, there is bliss. Why is it so? That is a question older than time. But you need not ask that question because there is no answer. There is only balance, and with that, no answer is needed. As you journey through the spiral of time and experience the cycles of life, Enjoy the beauty of the cosmic expression of each cycle and the magic of the spiral in the world, and even as far as the galaxies in space. You are traveling through a mystical expression of consciousness if you only allow yourself the luxury. The beauty of such grandeur, as a small part of the whole, is miraculous. When you view your existence in such terms, only goodness can describe the opportunity you have been given to live. Cycles are the underlying foundation of the passage of life. Another new morning, the next new moon, solstices and equinoxes, and generations of humanity are all markers of the passage of time that define an evolving consciousness. Each one affects the next, and so on. Always moving forward, building a lifetime, a generation, a history, and a future in which to place hope. Feel the constant, gentle flow that lies under the surface. It is the divine guiding energy upon which the cycles move. As you connect with that movement, you experience life occurring in an endless progression of peace and tranquility that is your birthright. Whatever is happening on the surface, you can always return to the essence of the cyclical patterns upon which your world is expressed. There resides a current of truth upon which you can place your focus and navigate through life with ease. Each recurring pattern and each returning cycle holds endless possibilities for unique movement into the unknown. Always something new, always innovation, venturing towards connecting with the higher beings who are watching over you. Every cycle, each turn, brings you closer to that for which you are searching. Bringing in the light helps you to find your way. Holding the light accelerates the journey, and sending the light out into the world is for the highest good for everyone. Your individual life also has cycles, one leading into the next. Childhood forms a foundation as you become an adult. You may believe that the rest is set in stone and smooth sailing, as it may well be. That conception is one to take along with you, for even when challenges present themselves, the calm you have stored away becomes a beacon that leads you to the peace and happiness you strive to regain. Flow with the cycles of life and live in the wonder of it all. Great Cosmic Council, Pillars of Light. The window of silence opens in front of me, sitting under the pyramid and above the giant mulberry tree, in the space for Tilaslam Uria. Breathing and feeling my limbs expand, the light penetrates inside and the light system in my body begins to move, I feel the third eye vibrating, and the body heats up. More and more light is contained within me, focused on my heart and breathing. I feel them everywhere, see them around me, standing upright about five to seven meters high. Council representatives, peace be with you, daughter of Adama. Blessed are you in your deeds. We have indeed come to talk with you and pass on the following knowledge through you. I see them as beacons of light, and I also see their airy bodies, eyes as blue as the sky of light, and thin bodies that move a constant stream of light within them. I can barely breathe and my body stretches upwards. The star of free choice is again present towards the representatives of the civilizations of the stars, where they are the ones who sowed the seeds of their consciousness, and many are many. Hundreds of millions of years ago, in those days of the giants, they walked on this planet, 
which was designated for the study of divinity, for learning what is and what is not. One is the poles of divinity. The entire universe is present in learning from this unique planet which was created in the consciousness of the inclusion of all and all. We will not return to human history. But it is important for us to explain that we are standing here as representatives of the people of the different galaxies, to bring themselves to a physical meeting with the people of the planet. Heaven and Earth alike, you are aware today of a consciousness that did not exist on the face of humanity. 75 years ago, the decision to support and accelerate the technological progress of mankind starting in the 2000s was in order to bring acceleration and growth of consciousness to open communication with the family of the stars. Therefore, you are beloved, sons of men, you sons of God, when you read these words and create a multi-dimensional communication with us. You are present in the new field of consciousness, which is present at the peak of its formation on the planet. Understand and see, these days in the places that have been marked on the planet, we place in the physical aspect, the pillars of light which will support the process of creating holograms and clear communication with us. Allow the pillars of light to be considered as antennas. Since the majority of humanity is present in the vision and understanding that there is life beyond the planet today, we continue and implement the plan to fulfill the meetings with you. Human governments can no longer deny and control human blindness. Communication is open and uncontrollable. That's why we develop the undulating energy that passes through what you know as the Internet. Understand that many more temptations will be directed at the human consciousness in the coming decade. These developments will continue to support our open communication with you. In the next decade, we are training half of the planet's population to create ways of communication with us. There are many ways. The level of knowledge that human bodies have the ability to carry a greater mass of light than was the case a million years ago is what allows us to move forward with you. We need you as you need us. We will not allow antimatter. There is no darkness to rule the planet. Understand that the one deity that drives the highest source of light was the one that conceived the creation of this planet. Therefore, the DNA of character is dominant in everything that exists on the planet, as well as in human souls. Those who are still in the karmic learning process will move to other stars to continue learning until they ascend to the fifth to twenty-second dimensions of light and more. Those who are already present in the resonance of the higher luminaries and who have the ability to carry the higher light are qualified to be led and grasp the consciousness of love and peace. This consciousness contains the consciousness of a continent known to many of you as Lemuria. These are the high and eternal consciousnesses of light present in the stars of light throughout the universe and beyond. The current universe is undergoing a process of purification and expansion. This does not mean that the antimatter will disappear, but the balance will return to existence and learning through nothingness. It is significant and extremely important. The essence of a planet is not physical embodiment through suffering. Divinity itself exists out of love, compassion, and eternal peace. That is why we are present today more than ever, to continue to allow humanity to ascend and develop, to be embodied as the cosmic family of nations. See loved ones, because the more you practice your metaphysical abilities, then you live in harmony with abundance and peace. When there is anger in your world, hallucinate your soul in meaningful learning and allow your human consciousness to become one with your divinity-bearing consciousness. We recognize you and show ourselves to those who are ready to incarnate in the parallel worlds. Once again we return to the monolithic pillars of light, some of which you see overnight we erect in different regions of the planet. Since 2020 we have erected a multitude of mysterious monuments. Man has not yet understood how they appeared and why. 
Some of the scientists are already receiving information about the essence of their role. The Utah Desert of the USA, Romania, Great Britain and California. In the next decade we will inherit the planet so that we can move the masses of light and thereby speed up the flow of light. The speed of light will support the human ability to vibrate their bodies and minds to a higher speed than it has ever been and thus we will be able to support the compressed physical ventilation process in which human beings have been present for the past million years. Beloved children of light, we are aware of the human emotional bodies and again ask you to observe the stars in the sky of light. Can you see the cosmos and beyond it? Many times we ask you to allow yourself to release your grip on the dense and physical world that many of you often hold on to. Only when you see a different physical phenomenon of nature, then you awaken to the transition to the coding in the control program. Allow it to be released and go free. His skin is the children of God. His skin was the children of the gods. His skin is the children of the stars. We bless you, your brothers, the sons of the diamond light, the sons of Alatea. We bless you, your brothers, the sons of God's light, the sons of Hova. We bless you, your brothers, sons of the light of infinite love, sons of Mu. May be at peace, be the light that you are. Representatives of the Cosmos Council, 